Number 1, it states that public office is a public trust and that public officers and employees must, at all times, be accountable to the people, serve them with utmost responsibility, integrity, loyalty and efficiency, act with patriotism and justice and lead modest lives. A. Public trust. B. Constitutional rights. C. Accountability. D. Responsibility. The answer is C. Accountability. Number 2. Who shall have the exclusive power to initiate all cases of impeachment? A. House of Blue Ribbon Committee. B. House of Representatives. C. House of the Senate. D. Speaker of the House. The answer is B. House of Representatives. Number 3, Republic Act 6713 is an act to uphold the time-honored principle of public office being a public trust, granting incentives and rewards for exemplary service, enumerating prohibited acts and providing penalties for violations thereof and for other purposes. A. Preamble. B. Code of Ethics. C. Code of Government Officials. D. Code of Conduct and Ethical Standards for Public Officials and Employees. The answer is D's Code of Conduct and Ethical Standards for Public Officials and Employees. Number 4. Which of the following is not part of the duties and responsibilities of public officials and employees? A. Act promptly on letters, inquiries, calls or any other form of communication sent by the public. B. Submit performance reports of the agency or office regularly. C. Accept gifts from the public upon prioritizing their queries. D. Process documents and papers expeditiously. The answer is C. Accept gifts from the public upon prioritizing their queries. Number 5. This is a written instrument containing the proposition and required number of signatories and shall be in a form determined by and submitted to the Commission on Elections. A. Bill. B. Law. C. Proposition. D. Petition. The answer is D. Petition. Number 6. It is the electoral process by which an initiative on the Constitution is either approved or rejected by the people. A. Referendum. B. Plebiscite. C. Petition. D. Initiative. The answer is B. Plebiscite. Number 7, this is the power of the electorate to approve or reject a legislation through an election called for the purpose. A. Referendum. B. Plebiscite. C. Petition. D. Initiative. The answer is A. Referendum. Number 8, this law promotes responsible family planning and proper use of reproductive methods to eliminate overpopulation growth. A. R. H. Bill. B. Responsible Parenthood and Reproductive Health Law. C. Reproductive Law. D. Family Planning. The answer is B. Responsible Parenthood and Reproductive Health Law. Number 9. This is a specialized agency of the United Nations that concerns international public health. A. Department of Health. B. World Health Organization. C. International Health Organization. D. All of the above. The answer is B. World Health Organization. Number 10. APEC is a summit that promotes free trade and economic cooperation throughout the Asia-Pacific region countries. APEC means A. Asia-Pacific Economic Corporation. B. Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation. C. Asia-Pacific Economic Council. D. Asia-Pacific Economic Countries. The answer is B. Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation.
Number 11, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN, aims to accelerate economic growth, stability, social progress and cultural development in the spirit of equality and partnership to strengthen prosperous and peaceful community along Southeast Asian nations. Which of the following countries is not a member of ASEAN? A. Hong Kong. B. Philippines. C. Singapore. D. Thailand. The answer is A. Hong Kong. Number 12, this Philippine law aims to address legal issues concerning online interactions and harmful internet behavior in the Philippines. It also aims to prevent and punish cybercrime in the country. A. Cyber Squatting Prevention Act. B. Cybercrime Act. C. Cybercrime Prevention Act. D. Cyber Identity Theft Act. The answer is C. Cybercrime Prevention Act. Number 13. Who may be appointed as member of the cabinet without needing confirmation from the Commission of Appointments? A. Senate President. B. Any Senator. C. Vice President. D. Speaker of the House. E. Any Congress Representative. The answer is C. Vice President. Number 14. Which of the following sectors is not represented in the House of Representatives through the party list system? A. Religious. B. Youth. C. Women. D. Pison. E. Labor. The answer is 14. Religious. Number 15. The right to privacy of a person is defined as one's right to A. Go where one pleases. B. Believe whatever one wishes. C. Build a home wherever one chooses. D. Be a member of any group. E. Be free from unwarranted publicity. The answer is E. Be free from unwarranted publicity. We hope you learned something from our latest civil service exam drill. Please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos. And don't forget to leave your comments and share this video to your friends. Thank you for watching.